want to join in as well. I know that she can do it and she's gonna do it. So that didn't happen. Um, Editing Wade here. So I'm first coming on here to apologize for the sound of the video in the first few minutes. Even though I acknowledge it further on, I did have a fan on and it was really loud and I couldn't tell that it was being really loud while recording. So in order to sort of minimize that sound and have that footage be a little bit salvageable, I edited the sound, but that makes me sound kind of weird and robotic, and it doesn't, um, it like takes out some of the song frequencies. I don't know how that works, but it sounds really weird. And I'm also here to um, ask you really quickly if you are willing and able to uh, fill out a form in the description. It's about your media preferences and it's just for my viewers so that I can sort of gauge what content you like and things like that. So yeah. Hey guys, so uh, today as you can tell by the title of this video, today we're going to be reacting to Twice's Dive. So I wore something for the occasion. I swapped out the cushions. I still have the mermaid nails. I'm not gonna show them to you up close. I might insert a clip of what they look like uh, because they're grown out and, and gross. This is Twice's fifth Japanese album. It is 10 songs, 32 minutes, Beyond the Horizon, Dive, Ocean Deep, Love Warning, Here I Am, Inside of Me, Peach Soda, Echoes of Heart, Dance Again, and Hare Hare. So I have already heard Hare Hare. So yeah, let's start. Okay. was beyond the horizon i'm gonna give it a 10 i really like the island beat like always uh i just ha, dove i i dive into it um i have a fan because it's hot if you can hear my neighbor cutting his grass i am so sorry also this is my first time ever reacting to one of their full to one of their japanese projects ever i think um and this is the first time that i would be listening to a uh japanese full-length album. I've heard all the singles, and the only B-side that I've heard is Good at Love. So, yeah. So, next up is Dive! Just don't be sad. Now you can dive into me. Just keep singing to me. I like your eyes. That was Dive. I'm also going to give it a 10 out of 10. I really like it. I like also how like groovy it is. I had heard obviously the snippet. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I posted a Instagram. I posted, I made a post with the snippet clip. Oh, it's so good. I'm very happy. I, I love summer songs. I should say that. And I'm also a month late. Um, so yeah, but I love Twice as Summer Songs and this fits right in. So, chefs. It's the next day, so my voice is weird. Um, I got my nails done. They're kind of like gray, silver, and like gold. Uh, next up is Ocean Deep.
was Ocean Deep. Okay, I'm gonna give it another 10. So far, so good. Next up is Love Warning. Okay, Rima. We got twice in Latina font, another 10. Oh my god. Is this normal for the Japanese comebacks? Like, do all the songs just slap? What? Next up is Here I Am. Once again, I'm cold and I'm weak. That was Here I Am. I'm giving it a nine. It's almost there. I feel like I got lost in a little, in a few bits. It's not like any of the parts are bad. Don't get me wrong. I just, I just feel like I'd have to listen to it again. It's not like the other ones that were like instant clicks, you know? Next up is Inside of Me. What's inside of me? That was inside of me. I'm gonna give it like a nine and a half. Like it's, again, it's almost there. It's even closer than the previous one. Still a banger. I'm pretty sure that by the next time that I hear this, uh, this album, it'll be a 10. Next up is Peach Soda. I have heard, I think a little clip, uh, clip. What is wrong with me? I can't speak. I literally just woke up. Um, I've heard a little clip of it. Be like, here, my peach soda, you know. That was peach soda that one's getting a 10 out of 10 i really really liked it um i really liked the beginning bit when it was very mm, mm, you know next up is echoes of heart which is the last new song i believe because dance again dance again is a single i'm pretty sure Baby, what you're So that was Echoes of Heart. That's gonna be the lowest rated. I'm so sorry. It's gonna be like. All right, it's me again. I'm popping in here to say that I want to apologize for the Echoes of Heart slander because um, 
I had to pause between songs because something happened that pissed me off. And so I did not um, hear the flow of the songs back to back. So when I say that it doesn't fit, it's not that it doesn't fit. It was just really striking from what I remembered the album being like. But listening to it front to back, it does fit. And I actually do like the song now. So I'd give the song like a like a nine, actually. I don't really like Dance Again, but um, I think that Dance Again is like a Christmas song and it doesn't fit, you know? But anyways, that's besides the point. If I listen to it, I'll probably like it. It's not like I'm going to skip it. It's it's a fine song. I just also feel like it doesn't really fit in with the sound of the whole album because everything has been kind of groovy sort of latin sort of like ocean you know and then this is just kind of piano you know it's giving building the rest we're giving free outside we're swimming this is giving auditorium you know like school play next up is dance again i i never heard this one so So that was Dance Again. I'll give it like a like an eight. It does sound sort of like a closing track. Next up is Hare Hare, which is a song that I have already heard and I love. So we're closing this off with like a 12 because Hare Hare is so good. That was Hare Hare 12. It's so great. So overall, this album was really good. They kind of, in, in, the, in the last bit, but nothing, nothing bad, you know? Um, so overall, I'd say I'd give this album like a, like a solid 9. 9 out of 10, yeah. Because it's really good. I, I didn't have any major issues with any of the songs except for Echoes of Heart, you know? But, um, I'm glad I listened to it. It's very summery. It is very much what I was looking for. And maybe it's because I'm starved for another full-length Twice album, but this one really hit. So I'm very happy. Um, really quick, I have to address the elephant in the room, the whole intro bit. I am not, um, let, let's not say I'm not ha not that I'm not happy. I'm not excited. I'm happy for her. I'm not happy for me. I'm not really excited that Chewie is going to debut as a soloist. I did not think she was going to be the one to do it. I thought, since I knew that Jung Young didn't want to release a solo, I thought the next choice was going to be Chaeyoung. Maybe because of her recent controversies, JYP said, you're shelved for a little bit. And then they were like, well... Nayeon just had a comeback. Jihyo, it's only been a year. Uh, Dayeon is going to debut as an actress. Misamo's having a comeback. So that leaves us two girlies. One is controversial and the other one is the People's Princess. And so they gave it to the People's Princess and I can't blame them for that. That doesn't mean that, I, <laughs> that I'm gonna like it. If you do not know, Chui is my second to least biased. My least biased is Young. So you would think that I would be happy, but I'm not. Because unfortunately, I do have to acknowledge that Miss Miss Girl can write some hits. She writes bops. And so I knew that that mini album was going to slap. Now I'm not sure what this mini album is going to be. I haven't heard anything. Um, but I will react to it because I have to. So yeah. 
remember that I love you guys. Uh, so that uh, thank you guys so very much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click that blow up so you're notified every time I post a video. <laughs> Tell me in the comments down below, are you excited for the Chewy album? What did you think of Dive? It was great. Um, and so yeah, remember that I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you guys whenever I see you.